what you want cause a pirate is free You are a pirate You're a Here and welcome back to some more LA Noir. Today we're going to be doing the second case, uh, A Walk in Elysian Fields, the second arson desk case. Looks like we've got a little cutscene straight away. I mean, most of the cases always do, but yeah. We've got. Shit. That's a ton of cranes. Is they are. I know there's an old Japanese saying fire, that if one. you can fold a thousand picks. cranes, you get a wish or something. Find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. North Hobart. All right. So yeah, it makes me wonder if this dude. Um, homicide. I mean, you know, you've made it. If he has something to do with knowing he might be Japanese or he might know about Japanese customs and you ought to meet Joe's buddy as I said nice. if you fold a thousand of them apparently you get a wish you drove me up. All right. let's jump in the whip Whoa. That was not a good start no! to the level, but okay. You hear about ranch desk? <laughs> Are we having a conversation, Vic? It wouldn't be an episode okay, of mine if the there wasn't I'm like a crash in the first ten seconds. Tell me so. about it. I mean, I yeah, I'll take it. A weeks from completion. Uh, Burned to the ground right. last night. The guys are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. Shame about chat. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in okay. custody. Want to bet? Bella kicked him loose already. Can and we... Misdemeanor cigarettes and I was going to try and sneak through that gap, but knowing me, I wouldn't have made it anyway. Alright. Don't, don't you turn. You stay in your lane, boy. So, uh, I didn't really catch much of what the captain was saying before we left. Sounds like there's another house fire. I was kind of attached to the paint job, Cole. This is where the fire was last time. So it seems like it's in roughly the same area. Which would make sense because... They're trying to, like, buy up all the houses in this area to, to, um, build, like, a new estate for GIs and stuff. Alright. Guessing it's just gonna be down here. Yeah, there it is. Alrighty. This is a big house. All right, two story. Yep, more suburban redevelop redevelopment fund. Fuck, that might even be three story. I mean, there's two story yeah, plus the little stomach. attic places. All right. Looks like straight away Carruthers wants us to go look at something. You have a name. Oh, what the fuck? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. That's messed up. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's They're like on their knees and shit. Doesn't make any sense. Pleading. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. That's fucked up. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. 
The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Wow. What are we doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Yeah, that's uh that's morbid. What's we got here? Oh, that's Never the picture. Never the same, are they? You ever think about how many people have died in this world, and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? That's no, sad. I have not. They look like a nice Show family. Some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran. See, into a I said jail. that. I said that in the well, last case. I didn't think it was any of them because the, the car and the cutscene was wrong. Mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh shit. Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same evidence. Like that partner sure, has a bit of a, a, bit of a weak stomach. Cole, you better find out what's eating the uh, I think he ran out there to go puke. Which, I mean, I can barely blame him. Wait, was that a downstairs area? A little bit flooded down here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's just a hammer. Doesn't appear to have anything to do with the case. But my control did vibrate, so, you know, I had, had to check it out. Nothing down here, okay. Ugh. Got my shoes all wet for nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Oh, where is it? Yeah, it's it's really annoying trying to get you trying to get your character in the right spot when it vibrates or makes that little noise. Come on. That hairbrush, I think. Or is it a mirror? I don't think this is going to help us. If it was a hairbrush, it was one of those ones where the bristles have probably all melted off or singed off or something. Uh. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think yeah, you've Herschel. seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys, on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable. Oh, and the story. I like I like Herschel. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. Work the neighbors. See what they work do. the neighbors. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. Well, before I do that, I want to look around the house. I want to see if there's a uh, water heater anywhere because you don't look like a fireman, son. We already know that the last two houses had a water. There's one. Yeah, there it is. 
Insta Heat again. Looks like the same model. Reginald Varley, four years in a row. Anything else? Doesn't. Doesn't really look like it. What's that? Nothing. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to this neighbor. See what he reckons. Looks like some of the debris fucked his house up a bit too. The footprints. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. And cigarette butts, alright. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. So someone was standing here, smoking and watching the house burn. Wonder if it was this dude. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Uh, Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. God, you cut me off quite quickly there. I don't know. You cut me off too quick. I don't. Don't exactly trust you right now. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Does that mean you've sold? Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Quick answer, again, and I don't believe you. Your eyes went to the side when you said no. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Oh, so now you just... Oh, now Skinny you just dog. suddenly remember. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. That guy had hair. All right. Plan demolitions. These houses down. Elysian Fields. You must know them. Their billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Nah. That's another lie. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Alrighty, and the promotional travel contest. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. Hmm. I think he's lying again, to be honest. Well, this time he's a bit different. His eyes are staring at me. They're not darting around as much, so... You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Oh, oh he was. He was telling sure. the truth there. Hey, Whew. if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? couple of things. What did you pick up? All the piece of paper. A crane. 
Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper cray. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Ha, ah, that's what I said. I called it, motherfucker. Hey, don't break it. It's not breaking, it's just unfolding it. Unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. Or what? You, you want to buy your old home today. Oh, I see you already have one. Uh, yours is a bit different though. Yours still has the bottom part. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Okay. So all right, looks like we uh we need to use the phone. I need an address for a property developer, Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Oh, okay. Nice. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? He leads on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you. Well, he might be a friend, but... Commander, we Shit have a line is of leading towards him. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? I don't yes, like sir. that. That sounds yeah. a bit dirty to me. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. That end. I don't think it's a dead end. Wait, there's more here? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. What did I miss? Apparently I've missed something. I looked at the bodies. Another day, another dollar. Do I need to talk? There isn't much I can tell you right now, Cole. Looked at the picture. I went throughout the whole house. There was nothing around. Nothing in the bins. Ah. This is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundation. That's what I missed. Okay. So this is where the water heater was and it's it's blown it over here. Now is that is that everything? No, apparently there's still more. I already have looked at this, but not actually anything I can do with it. Can I go down there? No. I mean, I know I can go down there from the inside. Uh, which way was it? This way? Guess I have to look at it from here then.
really, really don't know what else I can look at, to be honest. Wait. It's just an iron. This doesn't pertain to the case. Oh, I don't want to go back down. Um. Yeah, I, I honestly do not know what else I'm missing. Try to look at the letterbox. Jeez, I, I don't know. Oh, there's a newspaper. How did you get my number, Ira? Little cutscene here. At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now. Doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. All the fires are only beginning, Doc. Alright, so it looks like Ira. After the fires, everything will be beautiful. Is the clean. name of the dude everything will starting be fresh. the fires. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you help me to find it. Of course the doctor started this shit. I do remember a cutscene a while ago. Where I had a dude in a paper phone talking to the doctor, and he's like, he kept saying, You said the house would be empty. But apparently, it never was empty. Just thinking maybe there's something out here. I mean, there's, there's debris and shit out here, so. Jesus. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I'm, uh, yeah. Is that everything? Maybe it was just the newspaper. It was. Okay, so it counts the newspaper as part of it. Let's go to... He said not to go to Elysian Fields, so I'm not going to go there yet. Gonna, gonna listen to the commander, even though I think it's bullshit. Um, I don't want to get in any shit at the moment, so I'm gonna gonna listen to him, and I'm just gonna go to this place first. He was going to turn into me then. He was thinking about it. He was close. Alright. Making good time here. I love the little radio stuff going on in the background. Uh, okay. 
mini map for just a second. I'm moving, dickhead. Fucking bunch of wankers here, I swear. Looks like we're going to hear Rancho Escondido. Escondido, alright. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. Sounds like there's a bit of a uh, protest going on here. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not this is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back, or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Son of a bitch. Oh. Okay, oh, we're gonna fight here. That's dumbful. We're gonna have to pacify. I'm Jesus, how do I fight again? In blue. What was that? Oh, there it is. It is X. This isn't the answer. Oh, you're gone. You're next. I'm gonna bust you. Oh, you want somebody? You want some? You don't want none. Oh, I was hoping it would let me take on all of them. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. All right. So we're looking at this building, are we? Um, so I can't go up the stairs. Can't can't go up those stairs. It's like I can't get into the house because every every entrance is blocked. My control hasn't vibrated or anything yet. Can't go up that way. Oh wait, there's something here. Where was it? Uh, what am I looking at? A brick? Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? And you expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Oh. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Sounds like it. Alright, let's shove that back in. Oh! Yeah, that's uh... That's not supposed to happen. Wait, that's it? We're paying a visit to Alician and ruining my career. Let's bite the bullet and get on with it. That's literally it? We just came here to look at a wall? Punch a few people in the face? Alright, so it looks like our partner says we should go to Alician now. Even if, even if the boss man says no. Our partner reckons we should, so let's uh let's go do that then. Alright. I mean that's all we can do anyway. We didn't didn't learn any new I don't think we can get out of this place. I think it was like a one way in, one way out type deal. Um yeah, so, I mean, even if our partner didn't say, you know, that we should go there, it's, it's literally the only thing we can do, so... We didn't let, we didn't get any new leads or anything from coming here. We literally came here to pull a brick out of the wall. It's, a uh, Kind of a waste of our time, driving all the way out here to do that. I guess we did get to, uh... Punch a few guys in the face, but... Identify. Ooh, can we beat that tram? Yes, we can. Plenty of time. Yeah, I, I have a feeling our boss is going to be pissed when he finds out that we decided to ignore him and go to Elysian, Elysian Fields anyway. Is it just this place? Can we just... Yeah. Just do the old dodge. Is it just a random suitcase there? But okay. It's uh... Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? With a no. police lady. We don't need an appointment. 
what Can he I said. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an no. official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. And that's our cue. This Thanks, place is pretty, uh, swanky. May I help you, I would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I didn't even Monroe. see her sitting there, to be honest. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks and Bitch, we're the police. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. Oh. So he hired you for your I'm intelligence? Fuck her up in a second. I find that offensive. You have every yeah, right. Yeah, you're gonna be offended with my foot up your ass. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. All right, that's what I thought. You like a cigar? Drink, boy. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Biggs. I heard something. The Rancho Escondido. Does it want me to look at these? It does. No, it just goes back to that. Oh, it's because of this one. It wants me to look at that one too, I guess. Alright, looks like that's about it. I'm guessing it's asking. Oh. Nope. Because <laughs> I'm guessing it's telling me, yeah, trying to it. tell me to Not look around I his help. office first, but nope. Alright, so. Elysian linked to arsons. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Oh my god, this guy's got no eyes. The current demand for housing. So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I hate squinty-eyed bastards. I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using Weber. When they have such squinty eyes, you can't tell anything. I've only got two intuitions as well. Why do you have to be so squinty eyed? You're not even Asian, mate. I don't believe him, though. Well, I'm gonna guess. We're just, we're just gonna guess. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? So the promotional travel What do you know us? about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm not familiar with that one. Mmm... I think you would because your face is on it, mate. Uh, do we? We should have it. That one. That would work, yeah. Cause yeah, that's that's him on the on the flyer. So. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. No, actually, we're we're not. Um, I think you'll find that this is indeed your mug. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the suburban redevelopment fund? The chief. You want to accuse no them of murder as well? No wonder. I knew I smelt some fucking... Oh, we got a trophy. Oh, I knew we smelt some kind of conspiracy with it when it came to Made him saying to stay away from Elysian Fields. Have been <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. So, I don't know... Don't know what to do here. I guessed the other one. The, uh, the one where I, knew I had proof on him was easy. 
This one I'm not sure. Can we uh don't have many of these, but Okay, people saying bad cop, alright. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it. Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Yeah, when you burn them out of their houses. So the Rancho Escondido. What's Elysian fire? Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. Conflagration. The code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Um. But we just came there. And we... Yeah, I think we can be... We can use that, because he said only the best, Line, but apparently bro. not. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Either the materials are inferior, or the people putting the materials together aren't using nearly as, you I'm know, expert. as much as they I should. find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized, and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. See, those he agrees. I mean, he, he pretty much owns up to it. Fully insured by California Fire and Light. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. You suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. All right. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Oh, that's it. That's a uh, sly little um. Let to be of help, officer. Threat without trying to be a threat. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Um. Not that I know of. I don't, I don't... No? Okay, we'll just work our way down the list. List. And third dude. Find the okay. Phone. Sweet. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. So we need to use the phone. But you're not gonna let us use the phone here? Or maybe you are? Is that outside or inside? So, in here? Your boss is a fine man. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of the car? Right here. Okay. That's the cop who caught him. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. Oh, was that the dude that we arrested in the last case? I don't remember his name. Morning, oh, he was released this I'm morning. Sorry, detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks. Well, I love the chase till the Had a little loading screen there, and it went straight to this cutscene. To learn love for me in it Give me your heart And baby I'll bill it Cause I always kill Man, Cole's really obsessed with this place now Oh, is that fucking Roy? Some it is Buy me a drink, Cole? Fuck off, Roy No Not even for old time's sake 
Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel about... the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Go suck a dick. Roy. Stay away from Elysian Fields. Oh, see? Even he's straight. should have known that you were playing Aaron. You're a dirty, dirty cop. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. So they're trying to muscle us out of the uh, case because we're closing in on them. You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelton started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Earl. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an ass white. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. Yep, you're not wrong. KGBL calling the car 11K, 11K. We're 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is oh, 615 on Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. What I love you fought at is Sugar no Wolf, matter didn't what I desk did. we're at. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called um, Jack Kelso. You know, we, we change you know partners all the time. We change uh, cars all the time. Yeah, we're always uh, car 11K. For some reason, seeing you makes I, me I don't get him. that. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stum just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Like you would think that the car would stay the same, like, you know, if it was Roy's car or uh, Rusty's car, that would, you know, if that was 11k then it wouldn't change when we got uh, promoted and then get a new partner and start using their car. It's just Little things like that I've noticed that kind of they, they slipped on a little bit. Come on, move. Alright. I mean, it doesn't really take anything away from the story, uh, the storyline or any of the cases or anything. It's just, uh, yeah, I find it a little funny as all. We can make it. Well, hurry up, dude. You're slow. Oh, property So I slammed on the brakes. And instead of him continuing to go around the corner, he just, he stops. I don't get it. If he had, a, you know, put his foot on the accelerator and actually fucking turned, probably could have, uh, could have missed that altogether. And this place is a fair drive away. May as well hit the siren. No, I'm not gonna hit the siren. We're already, we're basically already there anyway. Come on. So I just off-road it a little bit. It's like his place is just up here. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Is there some kind Let's of problem? Let's take a look at the car. That's the car! 
That's that's the one from the cutscene. Let's see what he's oh, yeah. around. This is our dude. So he's got ammo. So this is this what this is what I'm talking about. I, I remember seeing this one. Should revise the APP. It's in the cutscene, and then every uh, when we when we were going to the uh, the employees in the last case, all of them had like more of a brighter red um, van like this with. Uh, what was called um, Insta Heat written on it, and I kept saying that's not the right car. It's not the right car. So I, I, that was my whole thing. I'm like, I don't think it's any of these guys because um, it just didn't fit the cutscene. Motive, opportunity. But this is targets. the one. It's it's like a darker red or a maroon or brown even. I don't know. I'm, I'm colorblind, so I really can't tell. There he is. It's Chap. He's coming it out might of the be brown. Shit. He's seen us. Cops again. Yeah, I think that is the dude we chased down. Son of a bitch! Oh, shit, we're back the in the car. Already. We I was thinking that we had to like, uh, we would have to run to the car, but I'll call we this start in, get in some the cars car. Dispatched. How are we supposed to? Car 11K calling KGPL. How, how are we supposed to un? 11K requesting we assistance. We knock this thing off in the In pursuit track? of suspect aboard the 1110 University Streetcar, currently heading east on Melrose shit. Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Yeah, it's not letting us do shit. Yeah. It's too heavy. It's not. Stay on his ass, Paul. Don't lose him. I'm not gonna lose him, but at the same time, I can't. Can't knock him off the road or anything. Yeah, we're not doing anything to him. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Ah, oh, we got it, we got it. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Really? How did you not die from that? We almost died from that. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Well, that was it. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley. And it seemed like a very a short lives. case. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. Oh, I'll shut you mouth. our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only you knew, mate. Richard Nixon was a crook. Good old Dick Nixon. And here we are. Still with our, our German chick now. A letter from Lou. His insurance policy names me beneficiary. California fire and life. You worked for a lesion? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about a lesion fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso. Oh, ask him Jack to make Kelso. some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help Miss Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. 
Believe me, I'll uh, see Jack doesn't mind. really like us. We're not his, we're not his favorite person right now. Years too late. Uh, that was a good case. I mean, it was it was short and sweet, but it was a, it was a good case. Yeah, thirteen clues, only eight questions. Wow. Okay. But we got a five star nonetheless, so I mean, I'm happy with that. Uh, do we have a cutscene or a flashback, whatever? Nope, we're straight straight on to the next case. Alrighty then, so um we that that's gonna be it for today. We're uh things are heating up, we we're you know, closing in on Elysian fields and we think the um you know, the top brass of the uh police force and probably Roy are in on it. Um so I th hopefully we can catch him because, you know, I fucking hate Roy. But um we, we want justice, we want, you know, we want to get rid of all the dirty cops and stuff. So yeah, we'll find out in, in the next few cases what happens. We're going to get Jack Kelso to help us without him knowing that he's helping us. Uh, and yeah, but until next time, goodbye for now. You are a pirate! Yeah. We've got us a map on us to lead us to a hidden box. Let's all lock up with locks and buddy depot!